milk and short horns, Irish Irs, red and whites, brown Swiss, and jerseys. Lisa Gibson, a dairy farmer from Eminence, Kentucky, is up before the sun Friday morning, getting her animals ready to show. We start at 4 o'clock every morning, giving them a bath. We put them a clean bed in every day, and then we have to make sure they don't get dirty. Gibson says they work hard year-round to get to competitions like the North American International Livestock Exposition. We try to raise our heifers and, and milk the cows, to give them the best feed that we can. And then this is the beauty contest. Livestock shows across the country were canceled this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Many participants here say they're thankful this show continued on, not only for the competition aspect, but because it helps with business. It promotes the dairy industry, which is struggling right now. Uh, it gets some of the better animals out and it helps producers to market their animals. Ray Graves is at the competition with who he calls extended family members. We're from Danville, Kentucky, Glasgow, Kentucky, and we've got a group tied in from Maryland. While the expo features goats, swine, sheep, beef cattle, and more, youth dairy cattle competitions are happening throughout the weekend. Graves says it's a huge opportunity for young men and women to experience an expo of this size. We really appreciate them having the show. I know it was a struggle this year, uh, but we do appreciate it. Like I said, it helps the kids out a whole lot. Alex Durham, WLKY News.